Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you some fun projects that I made um, using Scrap Diva Designs July 2023 release. Um, so I've already made it one of these um, jelly bags before. I have a, a video, um, I think it's linked uh, below. Um, it's definitely like one or two videos back um, showing this beauty. Um, and so I wanted to make another one. So this, I think the other one I made, uh, is like a blue color, kind of like this. And then I had this really fun kind of coral colored sparkly paper and I wanted to do another bag. But, uh, what I really want to show you today is all the goodies inside that I, um, made using those July, uh, 2023 uh, dies. So um, here is Scrap Diva's info. Um, I do have a link below that'll take you directly to her store. And if you use that, that's an affiliate link. And I do receive a small commission. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, and then here is Erica's social media info. And uh, please follow along um, at the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. You'll be able to see lots of fun um, uh, projects from her design team and uh, lots of other people and it's a great place for inspiration on how to use the dyes. Um, so again, I did make a jelly bag um, and I showed you guys this video, or excuse me, this um, die set uh, on the last video. So that's what it looks like. You've just cut two of these out um, for the front and back, then you cut two of these for your sides. And then this, oh, I dropped, oh, I think I dropped one of the pieces, but anyway, there's another piece for the bottom and then this is a layering piece that actually goes inside to kind of finish off the inside of the bag so it looks nice and pretty and then um, this here creates this label so you can create a label and then this is a layering piece um, for that label so the other jelly bag i did i didn't use that but i wanted to just kind of show you guys what that looks like so i put it on this bag um, i did use some flowers and this is from the um June release and it's the uh, flower pot gift card holder. So there are several um, different flowers in that set and I had a couple extra, so I just added them to the bag. I did add this cute little um, tassel that I made with a wooden bead and then like another little tassel and added a little rainbow charm for fun. Just kind of went with the whole like theme of this. Um, and then inside, Actually, I think I'm gonna pull everything out and just kind of lay it down. And then um, I can show you guys. Um, sorry for all the shadows. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. It's um, it's just the end of the day and that's why it's like so shadowy. Um, oh my gosh, that shadow is like so bugging me. I think I'll put this here. Okay, so, um, so real quick, this, um, I just made this with a, um, uh, old cut file I had. Um, I, I actually made the box a long time ago, but it just kind of fit all this these goodies and it fit inside there perfectly. So I did want to um, use it for this project. So um, inside the box, I did make a really fun, um, kind of like, um, oh gosh, what are those like the sand jars that you, um, I used to make these in like the 70s and 80s, but where you would do different colored layered sand. And um, they also do one where they're little candle, um, kind of little pellets and you can layer them and, and make it candles. So my daughter used to do those. And then, like I said, I did the sand ones, but I thought that was kind of cute. I rem That's what that reminds me of, but I just used a bunch of seed beads and put it in one of those little Dollar Tree um, uh, jars or bottles. And then I did glue this shut um, so nothing would fall out. And then I added a little like flower cabochon. So I thought that would be really cute. And then this is like what I'm most excited about are these amazing little jellyfish. So um, I made those, let me show you, um, using the um, jellyfish die set. So here's the die. Um, it does make two different sizes. Um, I wound up making um both sizes but the only thing i didn't use i did all the layers i just didn't add additional tentacles so i thought it was super cute either way um and i wound up just doing um, one row of the tentacles but you can actually add i don't even know if those are called tentacles but whatever they're called um you can add another layer to this but i just didn't but aren't those cute how i package those i just thought they would be really cute um in just some clear um cello bags and then adding kind of some like a little sequin mix to the bottom of the bag. 
Um, but I will take it out just to show you guys close up like how stinking cute these things are. Um, now you can um, layer these up, you know, however you want. There's a little face that you can add to them. Um, I did not, oops, I've got sequins going everywhere. Um, I did not do um, the face just because, I think I did it on one, I'll show you that to you. But um, I really like these like as is. I mean, so, so, so cute. Okay, sorry, all this is like kind of in my way now. I, I need to, I like a clear, clear background. Um, but yeah, isn't that like just so darling? I love, love, love those. Um, let me get this out of the way. Um, and then, so I did two small, and let me show you the other one. But you can kind of see how those layer um, together. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so you have your base piece here. Then you have this one here that has this really cute, like kind of doily, like scalloped edge. And then um, you have this piece here, which you can use like a designer paper. And then if you add the face, there's that's the fourth layer. Um, and then th that, so it, it actually shows each layer, which I think is really, really cool. And then um, let me show you this little face close up. Um, but yeah, once I put these together with that really pretty paper, I didn't wanna cover them up, like cover that paper up. And that's why I, I didn't do the faces on all of them. Um, but yeah, here's here it is with the face. Isn't that just so cute? Pur like just the perfect little like eyes or the little eyelashes and the little cheekies. Um, and actually, oh, on the cheeks, I think um, I didn't wind up using the cheeks that came um, with this set. I had some already punched out um, from a hole punch. So I just actually wound up using those. And then um, the last one here, uh, is this one, this one here. So I won't take that out of the package, but um, yeah, super, super cute. Absolutely love how these turned out. And I can't wait to make more of those because they are like darling, 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 darling. Okay, so let's put these guys over here. And then um, the next thing I did was I created the, um, it's the Flip Flop mini album. And um it's a really, really cute set. Um, I'll show you that one again really quickly. Um, but it creates this, uh, this is like the base piece. That's what you would make your, your mini album pages out of. And, um, and then on the back you have layering pieces. So you can have just a simple layer or you can add this in, and have um, like additional layers. And then this is what allows you to make it into a shaker. So if you cut these out of foam and then um, uh, you can layer this up and you can have all these little channels um, full of sequins. So that's really, really cute. Um, and then it comes with uh, three different flowers, comes with leaves, a little center, a heart. And then it also comes with this mini um, flip-flop set. So you can do um, a little, um, there's actually two of those, but um, you can do a little uh, mini like some mini embellishments or something. Um, so I wound up making mine into a card. Um, I added a little charm um, here, but look at the charm, isn't that cute? So a um, little um, starfish, a heart, and then like a little coconut cocktail, which I thought was really cute. And then um, this is one of the flowers um, in the set. So I wound up using this one here and it made a really, really cute flower and then added just a little cabochon um, flower, same one I used on these for the, like the, in between the toes. And then, um, I did pop this up on foam. So the flip flop had some dimension and I also popped the straps up on foam. And then, uh, when you glue it down to, so it sticks up like this, you just glue these down first and then you just kind of bend these a little bit and glue it, you know, kind of bow them and then glue it down. And that's how you can kind of get that like 3D effect, like a like an actual flip flop. Uh, but yeah, super super cute. And um, then I just turned it into a card. So that's it there. So I really thought that would be really cute. And um, then, oh my gosh, I made so many fun things. So this one here um, is from the Beach Ball um, mini album. 
And um, I, I made the mini album, or I made the um, beach ball into a card, and I'll show you guys that on a different video. But I did use these this bathing suit um, to, uh, this bathing suit dye and the umbrella right here to make these guys. So um, what I did was I took this as my base piece, and then I used a pattern paper for that part, and then just layered it with the umbrella, and then that little tiny bow. And then I just, um, added like a piece of ephemera from the paper collection I was using. And that's kind of how I, whoops, does not want to come out. Okay, so that's how I um, made the embellishments, but aren't those just darling? So it doesn't take a lot to make just a really cute, simple embellishment. I don't feel like they always have to be like super over the top. I think these bathing suits are so darling and uh, the paper I used is so darling that I didn't want to like jumble them up and like start covering them with lots of layers. I wanted them to just kind of stand out on their own. But yeah, I really, really like how that turned out. And if you're wondering, I did use the um, Rosie Studio Keeping Cool paper collection because I know people usually like to know what paper collection. Um, so yeah, that's the one I used. And then I just made a really simple bag topper um, with just cut, folding the paper in half. And then I added some more of those flowers from that flower pot um, gift card holder. And I really like how those turned out. So there's that guy. And then I did use, oh, this is actually from a, a previous release. Um, it's the rainbow bag topper. Um, I purchased this, this is before I was on the design team, but isn't that just so cute? But I just wanted to um, gift some of these like puppy stickers. And I just thought that would be um, a nice way to gift it is by just adding, uh, you know, a cute little bag topper. And then I didn't glue it on there because I wanted um, this to be reusable so the recipient can reuse that. Um, so yeah, so super cute. And then um, the last thing I made were these um, really fun um, soda pops. Um, so this is from the um, soda bottle shaker. And I'll show you that real quick. Um, but yeah, it comes with this piece here is your base piece. And then this cuts out your pattern paper for the background and also your acetate. And then this is your um, foam layer and then also your little frame layer. And then you have this, which is really cute, and it makes a little label there. And then you have two words, shadow words, soda, and then cheers, and then a little um, bottle cap. So um, that's like a really, really fun set. And these went together really quickly. I made a couple of these, but um, yeah, isn't that cute? So I don't know if you can see the paper there. And then that sweet, sweet sequin mix. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a little cherry soda and then like a little strawberry soda. So um, yeah, that's what I made. But isn't like, look at the detail on this bottle cap. I mean, it's just so stinking cute. But yeah, I love, love, love this set. Um, so anyway, that's everything you guys. Just really a lot of like really fun, um, just summery die sets uh, in this collection, in this month's release. And I love it all so much. Um, and I really, really hope that you um, uh, get a chance to get a couple of these die sets and uh, give them a try. I mean, this one I know um, sold out right away, but Erica does have more ordered and um, I know you can pre-order it. And you definitely want to check these out. If, the, if anything's sold out, Erica will restock. I just don't know like how quickly, but she usually is pretty, pretty fast at restocking. So um, just be patient and you can be notified. I'm pretty sure there's a, a spot where you can uh, put in your email and it'll notify you when, um, when something gets restocked. So if you're looking for something specific, um, that's a good way to do it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.